Hello, Chris Mew here, and this time I'm going to show you how to render uh, FilmFX Grid and other volumes by using Redshift Volume Material and uh, Redshift Renderer. So, for start, let, let's change the scan and renderer, uh, which renders just some uh, default FilmFX uh, simulation. It's like 200, 200 by 300 voxels uh, to the redshift render. Uh, I'll set the J engines to brute force because redshift will only render uh, volumes with uh, volume GI with brute force method. Uh, now we're going to need to create some light and choose the redshift physical light and we'll use the, the point light and move it to a little bit higher I know intensity for start 100 exposure exposure 10 and make sure that volume contribution is set to 1 and 16 samples will be just fine for, for start Within FumeFX, we'll need to change the shader from a standard shader to Arnold Redshift Volume. We're going to render smoke only, so we don't need fire and fuel. In Material Editor, we're going to create a Redshift, it's a standard material, and we'll also drag one Redshift Volume material that we're going to need for a Film effects. For the standard material, material, we don't want any reflections and we just put it on the ground plane. For the wretched volume, we're going to use the smoke channel, make sure that it's lowercase and we have to drag it to the film effects grid. This way, We'll have the film effects rendering on the GPU, and as you can see, it's blazing fast. Now, we need some tuning to get rid of the noise, so from the redshift parameters, we can change the number of samples, so we can put for example 128 samples and render what you've got. You can see it's a lot better. For uh, interactive rendering we can use IPR which uses the progressive, uh, progressive rendering and that's really good to fine-tune the shader parameters interactively. So, we can use it to play with uh, Redshift Volume material. So, under scatter, uh, scatter Channel Remap, you have like Old Minimum, Old Maximum and New minimum, new Maximum. With those values you can change the uh, density look for the, for the smoke. For example, if you set the New Maximum is lower than what's Old Maximum, for example, like 0.2 will get a lot more transparent kind of smoke. You can increase this for example for 1000 and you'll get some really really thick smoke. So a value of for example 0 0.7 creates a nice nice smoke. So that's uh, about it. With the scattering and the absorption you can play with parameters and see what you get what fits for your uh, rendering so now we're going to play with the emission and we're also going to use smoke channel so we'll set the emission color to zero and we'll add some 
keys that we can we can play with here and here we go with some colors so we can choose to add some red light color okay that's nice and maybe some color that's a bit more on the on the yellow side okay that's pretty nice so you can see it's easily to turn something into emissive uh, channel and we'll turn the white off so you can see emission from the volume on the on the geometry with the emission scale you can scale up or scale down emission and of course if we for example increase uh, scattering map the smoke will be thicker and thicker and less light will go through the be able to penetrate penetrate through the smoke so for example something like one or two and emission scale will be left at at one so that's pretty much what it's needed for the basic rendering and I'll just remove this control and reset it turn back our light and remove the emission from the from the smoke it takes some time for this uh, window to to update and to get rid of this noise we we'll just play with some uh, sampling probably put something like 16 samples minimum and uh, you'll have to render and see what's going what's going on 256 let's see how about this a bit more that's everything for this little tutorial of how to use Redshift with FX. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.